All right, here at No Reserve, we have our all original uh, 1995 Ford F-150. It's a really hard to find truck. It's a regular cab short bed, four x four with the Eddie Bauer package. All original paint, never had any accidents, no body work, no panel adjustments. It's uh, got the 4.9 inline six cylinder, the 306 cylinder, and the five speed manual transmission. Uh, just all together with the color, it's called medium palomino metallic, but it's like a copper. And then it's got the pewter uh, Eddie Bauer on the bottom, but with the drivetrain of the 306 cylinder and the five speed manual and the regular cab short by platform is extremely hard to find. But it's paints beautiful, it's got really nice shine to it, it's had no accidents, it's got a clean Washington title. Um, it did spend uh, the first, uh, about the first half of its life, it didn't live in Washington. The guy was in the military and moved around a little bit, but it spent quite a bit of time in Colorado. So there will be some surface rust places here and there on the undercarriage. Um, this little area is rusted out right here. But uh, it's good solid metal though. It's just kind of strange, it's good rusted right here. But there's going to be some surface rust spots. Um, but overall, it's a really solid truck. I'll start out at the front and we'll kind of go around it. Um, you know, it's original paint, so you're going to have, you know, a little bit of your stone chipping on here. You know, the paint's still really nice and smooth. It's got a great gloss to it. Um, but you do have some little bigger chips right here. Um, other than that, you'll have just, you know, a little bit of like, a little bit of checkering in it, a little bit of aging in the paint. Um, that kind of comes up here and you'll find it in the middle area of the hood. But, I um, mean, that's getting really close. You know, you see these little stone chips. Um, it's really hard to even see those little marks, but you know your typical stuff your headlights are a little aged a little discolored both clear corner lights got a little condensation um, The corner lights uh, the turn signals got really nice color Grill all the chrome looks really good. It's got nice depth on it. The trimmer on the bumper is in really nice shape It's all scuffed up. It's nice and black um, But the you know the, the painted gray coves are a little faded which is kind of typical of this uh, this body style of truck you know, it's easy uh, to forget that, you know, the age of this thing is already 24 years old. I mean, um, they are getting to kind of be, you know, older trucks. We had a windshield put in it. Um, the owner before did a ton of mechanical work, spent, a, you know, thousands on this thing. Had a clutch, brakes, radiator, alternator, had oil pan gasket, front timing cover done, water pump, um, valve cover gaskets. It's just a ton of work and then decided they wanted a Bronco. So uh, they traded in on a, on a 94 Bronco we had. But, uh, so we'll get here, there's a little chip right here, a couple little chips like that. But you can see it's got really nice panel gaps. But you got a little scratch here, you can see there's a little chip on the door right there. But along the, rock, but along the, the bottom of the body looks awesome, you know, it's nice and solid. You know, a little bit of chipping here, little stone chips, but this is kind of all typical. Um, the owner put uh, brand new tires on it, the tires have less than a thousand miles on them on the factory chrome wheels. And it does have a little bit of a suspension lift, just a little one, I guess it's probably about two inches, because um, these are 3110 50s, and you can see it sits up a little high. Um, so it's got plenty of clearance, so you could really stuff a 33 on here if you want to, but I think it's got just a killer look, the way it is. And, you know, I had a canopy on it most of its life, so it has all the wiring. But the inside of the bed's in really nice shape, no rust, just a little bit of wear on the bottom ribs and some little scuffs and scratches, but uh, for the year it's in really nice shape. You know, you'll have some of that little canopy wear there. You know, you got a little entry wear around the door for the key, a couple of chips around the door edges. But the door's shut really nice, no hinge issues. Gonna have some of your typical little cracks on the, on the uh, window sweeps. On the inside and outside, there's a little bit of surface rusting starting on the metal parts of the wing window. So you might want to, you know, you could paint those, scuff them up and paint them with a nice semi-gloss. Little scratch right here. Bedsides are really nice. There's a little little chip right here with uh, some surface rust. Little scratches. Little tiny ones. So you'll just get it's a little bit of the side loading kind of type scratches. You know, a little bit of wear and tear around the uh, gas door. But you can see there's no tape line ever done. You know, if it's been painted, you'll see overspray blown in here and tape job. Original Eddie Bauer decals. You know, a little surface rust here. But again, uh, you know, if I take my Leatherman's, you know, it's it's nice solid metal. But the uh, tail lights are a little faded on both sides. And, but that's what's great about these trucks is they're extremely cheap to maintain, but the aftermarket, like if you wanted to get, you know, new tail lights, uh, door sweeps, 
and new mirrors because these are a little faded um, and the chrome's a little bit dull. You can get new mirrors to the door for about 35 bucks for a set of two on eBay or Amazon or um, a bunch of different outfits. Same for the window sweeps. You get a set of four to the door for 35 bucks and tail lights 20 bucks for brand new ones. So really cheap to upgrade them. Rear bumper's in really nice shape. The pad's a little bit faded. You know, there's a little bit of wear on the plastics, but all the aluminum's nice. It's not all that white faded look. There's no dents or dings, no cracks in the plastic. Just a little bit of wear here, where it looks like maybe the tailgate was shut down and there was something on the bumper. Look, the paint chipped here a little bit, and it's a little bit surface rusty. You know, a little bit, a little bit of loading. You know, there's a little bit of wear and stuff from where the canopy laid. Again, the tail lights a little faded, a little surface rust here. A little, little ding in the body there. Paints wore away. I'm not sure if the owner before had like a gravel driveway, you know, the person that owned the majority of its life and it kind of chipped away the paint. But, uh, you know, it's a little bit surface rusty, but again, nice metal. And there's underside photos where you can see, you know, all the, you see all the gaskets and you can see the condition of the underside of the body. A little bit of scratches right there. Tiny little ding right here. Again, same thing, window sweeps and the mirrors are faded and you know, the metal on the wing windows. You know, new front glass. Paints wore away here too. And it's, uh, you know, got that kind of that surface rust look, but it's good solid metal. You know, nice little scratch right there, but nice hood gaps. Hood's never been overextended or anything like that. So we'll go ahead and take you inside. Let's start on the passenger side first. It's in really nice shape inside. It's got the, uh, it's called the, 40 40 20 uh bench seat so you got the folding center console and it goes up for you know seat belts for three but it's really nice shape you know the plastics are there the covers there it just has a little crack in the dash pad right there a little bit of wear underneath the cd player it's got an older aftermarket cd player but it sounds nice door panels look really good a little bit of sun fading up here you know there's some wear in the felt material um, and then again, you have the surface rust on the wing windows I was talking about. But the hood, the uh, door hinges are really nice. Very little wear on the rocker. But, you know, paint's chipped right there, so you get a little bit of surface rust, but it's nice and solid. Underside's got a little bit of surface rust right here, but it, really nice. But, you know, it's uh, overall, you know, it's got a little bit. It shows, shows it's been out of the state for a little while, but overall it's really nice and solid. You know, the carpets are in nice shape. You know, a little discoloring just from the years. Uh, it's a little faded in this area, and you'll find some little dark spots and stuff like that. But it's got a nice set of uh, Goodyear mats that look nice. The rest of the dash is in super nice condition. This is nice and tight to the floorboard. But this is just, the Eddie Bowers are just always have a great look, but the regular cab shorties are just a, a killer little body. There's a tiny little soft ding here that I didn't notice before, but there's no paint damage on it, so it's really tough to see. Got your original Vin decal. You know, really nice paint throughout. And then a nice door panel. You know, it's got, driver's side's got a little bit more wear just from using the switches. You got a crack right here, a crack right there, but everything's nice and tight. Again, same surface rust and fading as the passenger side. But the door panels, both of them are nice and tight to the door. You know, and they haven't been taken off and broken. You know, no surface rust, any type of rust underneath there. Carpets, same thing, look really nice. You know, a couple little, you know, dark areas around here. But again, with the mat down, you don't even notice. Steering wheel looks nice, everything works. You know, all the silver trim. On the bezel is in nice shape. It's got about 180,000 miles. You know, non-smoker, no smells. And the uh, headliner's in good shape. So, all right. So this is going at no reserve. A little 95 uh, regular cab shorty, Eddie Bauer. Uh, so next, we're going to fire it up, get it warmed up, and then uh, take it for a little bit of spin. So hopefully you guys can stick around. All right, here we are in a run and driving video for our uh, hard to find 95 Eddie Bauer. Uh, regular cab short bed, so it's good to see all the lights are working. Pop the hood here for you. It's running nice and smooth. No knocking or ticking, no belt squeals. You know, you can see the snow out here, so we're in the 20s, so you get a little bit of, 
you know, cold weather condensation, but uh, you don't know white smoke or blue smoke or black smoke. So the heater works great. The AC, you know, probably used to be recharged. I mean, it's really cold, so it's hard to tell if it's AC. I mean, it's well cold, but uh, it doesn't feel like it's the ice cold AC it should be. And I can see all the gauges are working, temperatures coming up. You know, wipers work on all different speeds. Uh, there you get your power windows. Of course, they go all the way down. They go down that nice and fast. You know, you power door locks. Both actuators are working. Both wing windows are nice and tight, lock in place. They don't need any washers or anything. Got your power mirrors. You know, it's a super clean original truck. A nice little, you know, older Pioneer stereo. So, all right, we're gonna go ahead and uh, hopefully, if traffic allows, we'll get some decent uh, speeds up. We'll hit the highway and then, uh, you know, turn off, and then there's a, a road that's, you know, pretty choppy. It's got some chunks out of it and stuff, so you can see, you know, it's not a rattle box. It doesn't. Uh, Sway all over the road, and like I talked about, uh, you know, in the description. Hopefully, you can read that. The the previous owner that owned this before just had a, a ton, thousands of dollars put into this thing, and then they decided they wanted a Bronco, so they traded it uh, to us to an, a white '95 Bronco. But had the motor completely resealed, pan gasket, front and rear main seals, timing cover, water pump, valve cover, gasket, clutch, uh, brakes all the way around, brand new tires. Um, so, and, you know, there's some potholes right there. It soaks them up nice. Uh, so shifts really nice. Clutch feels really good. You can see these potholes. It's just soaking them up. You don't get that dash rattle, you know, so it doesn't feel like a worn out truck. Um, you know, it's got 180,000 miles. Uh, 306 cylinder. Doesn't look like it's ever been rebuilt. Um, it's not smoking. Um, it has that, you know, when you first fire it up, um, if it sits for a while, if you're familiar with these 306 cylinders, almost every one of them that we've had has that you know when it first fires up like about you know which is a couple seconds where it'll just be a, a, a little bit of a rattle it's not a knock or a tick it's just kind of the 300 sound here's some potholes up here that are just tore up it just soaks them up nice that's from the snow plows uh, so we're gonna go through all five gears here we're taking off in first you know it's 15 miles an hour into second really nice tight sink rows you know, had the front end rebuilt. You can see that the shifter is in nice condition. You know, it's nice and tight. Into fourth. You can see the speedometer bounces around a little bit. Um, between like really about 50 to 60, it kind of dances a little bit. Um, but these are electronic, so it's not a speedometer cable going into fifth gear. Um, so it is kind of, uh, you know, you could get you could get like a used cluster or something and probably just replace the speedometer piece. But you can see it handles the highway nice. Um, my foot's not on the gas. It's staying at highway speeds. So you can see it's got nice shine on the hood. And then you go off with the uh, cruise control. But it breaks really nice. It's a nice downshift to fourth. You can hammer down on it. You can see uh, rear view mirrors so smoking up a storm. But you know the truck's uh, you know 24 years old, amazingly, and you know it's 108,000 miles, a little over that. Uh, you know fresh oil change. All the fluids have been serviced. It's also got a new radiator, um, hoses, belts. I mean this truck has been, you know, he really brought it up to. Uh, you know, full maintenance standard, so it can be a, a great daily driver with no work needed for a long time. Um, so we're going to go through here. A couple little potholes. But it's just a really nice, tight, comfortable truck to drive. Um, you know, as in any 24-year-old truck, you know, there's room for improvements always. You know, they're always getting older, always getting more miles. But overall, it's, it's really clean. Um, extremely hard to find options in the colors and the regular cab shorty uh, with the 306 cylinder and a five speed is just, uh, 
you know, the guys that don't know these trucks, it's just a really hard to find combo. Um, but uh, so we're going to come into a tight 90 here, I'm going to downshift into third. You can see it's just nice and tight. The steering box wants to return to center like it should, gives you good resistance. No ball joint clunking or anything like that. And I'm, in, I'm in third gear here. That's what's great about the 306 cylinder. Uh, you can, it's a nice torquey motor, so uh, you don't have to be shifting all the time. You can get into the brake, uh, then it doesn't start lugging. You know, you go back into the gas at uh, you know 20 miles an hour which is fantastic. So all right, this is going at no reserves. So everybody, good luck, and please ask me any questions you might ask.